Yo, what's going on my VVOGs, my Omi homies, my Jermaine Rogers fans, and everybody else on YouTube. It's your bromie, the Gale, back at it again with another VV Drop Strategy video. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a drop on Sunday. I repeat, we have a drop on Sunday. This is a nice change of pace, and it is a drop from Jermaine Rogers, no less. This is going to be an interesting drop. I just got out of the AMA where Jermaine Rogers and uh, Reese and Alex um, were on stage talking about Jermaine's, you know, artwork in his life. And it was very interesting. So in this video, I'm going to give you guys the details of the drop and I'm going to break down these characters a little further and then we're going to call it a video. So without further ado, let's breeze into it. Jermaine Rogers, Veil Specimen, Series 1. Deviant drops Sunday, January 16th at 8 a.m. PT, only on the VV app for iOS and Android. For those who might not know, Jermaine Rogers is widely recognized as one of the leaders in the field of modern rock poster and pop art. He has created posters and artwork for a wide variety of musical artists, including the Nine Inch Nails, David Bowie, Run the Jewels, Tool, Radiohead, Childish Gambino, Queens of the Stone Age, Foo Fighters, and many others. Rogers is also a recognized forest in the vinyl toy art scene, releasing figures through Kid Robot, Medicom, Toy, Strange Co., and Darrow 72. Veil Specimen The Veil are a Darrow creation, engineered in laboratories deep within the hidden places of the world. They are a bred workforce, made to be loyal, submissive, and obedient, but there have been exceptions. Series 1, Deviant. Series 1 introduces four Veil, specimen who were eventually pronounced Deviant by the Darrow. Their whereabouts are presently unknown. Specimen number 72. I am sensing that everything I know is a facade. Something is wrong. I think I'm losing my mind. This is going to cost $40. There are 3,333 editions. This is a first appearance of specimen 72. This is the rarity of a common and um, license is by Jermaine Rogers. The brand is Veil Specimen Series 1 Deviant, available globally. Specimen number 129. Where others have been reckless, I will be disciplined. Darrow eyes are roving to and fro, discerning thoughts, feelings, and motives. I will hide my mind. They cannot have it. This will cost 50 gems. There are 2,222 editions. This is a first appearance, and the rarity is uncommon. Specimen number 80. The Darrow are not your friends. Do not give your trust. They have studied you. It is a game. You will lose it. This will cost 70 gems. There are only 1,777 editions. This is a first appearance, and this is your rare for Sunday's drop. Specimen number four. For ages, I have served at the bottom of the world, beneath the great caves of the ice. They hide things here. Everyone is lying to you. I know. I have seen it. This is going to cost 90 gems. There are only 999 editions. This is a first appearance, and this is your ultra rare for Saturday's drop. Now let's get into my thoughts and strategies for this drop, shall we? So my thoughts on this drop, I'm, actually, I'm looking forward to this one. Um, you know, this isn't, this isn't the type of drop where you look to make profit. This is a drop that you participate because you like, you like the characters, you like the lore behind it. And I just learned a lot behind this. So if you look at the descriptions, like these are, these are, there's a whole story, backstory behind these creatures right here. Now, um, these creatures are meant to serve the Darrow, which has already been dropped on the app. And um, they're supposed to be subservient. They're supposed to do what they're told, but they're 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 like waking up. You know, they they they're becoming woke. And it all started with this one, specimen number seventy-two. He was the first one to self-actualize. You know, um, it's kind of like similar to the Matrix, right? Waking up from the Matrix, you know. And um, he started it off, and you know, they they each they you know they followed suit. And in the physical version, actually. This one has a number 72 etched on his forehead. Now, um, it's not etched on his forehead here because, you know, they decided not to do that. 
but they etched the number 72 in in his in their foreheads because he was the in honor of specimen number 72 so in the ama that um jermaine rogers just had with the comey team he said that there's going to be some special there might be something there's a little easter egg in here somewhere so we'll probably find out once we put him in augmented reality you know they, they might have the number 72 on their foot again or something else but um yeah these are some cool creatures i dig it this is my this is my kind of thing here i like what these creatures represent you know jermaine rogers clearly has a you know has a plan he has a story a whole back a whole story behind these creatures and obviously it's reflecting on the real world you know there's powers that be powers that be that are unseen and you know they they have their hand and everything and you know some of us are being controlled and don't even realize it you think you're free but you're not you know stuff like that so definitely digging these uh these uh veils and this is only series one right so obviously there's going to be a few more series jermaine rogers has plenty of creatures uh you know and as uh as the months go on we're going to start seeing his um his uh his lore come to life on the vv app which is awesome so which one am I, which one am i going for you know i really don't want to say because uh you know i'm starting to get some influence in this here game and, and i'm definitely and i'm pretty sure that if i if i say which one i'm going for then my odds are going to decrease so i'm actually going to keep that one back this time so i told i told you i told you i told you a little, little bit of the backstory this was the originator you know this one had a 72 in the physical physical world and uh these two are just this looks like a panda 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 you know what i'm saying and then this one's pretty cool you know it's like an ice version um but yeah let's uh let's uh let's check out something else real quick so yeah this is this is the choices rabbit another one of jermaine rogers rogers creation and um wait what's that what what's that shadow what, what what's going on here oh my goodness what is that now this is the darrow so the darrow created the veil and uh you know the darrow are not to be trusted you know they claim to be your friends they claim to be here for you but no do not trust the darrow you know the protector is right clutch that knife tight mr protector rabbit you know do what you got to do that knife is kind of shiny though look at that you see that anyway yeah um you know jermaine rogers is gonna have plenty more creatures dropping over the months and years most likely and you know we're gonna start getting background scenes and stuff I'm, i we i totally forgot about that you know we're supposed to be getting like bad caves and stuff so i'm thinking we might get a forest scene or something so that might be cool um but yeah I, I, i'm really digging what uh jermaine rogers lore with these creatures is about it's obviously deeper than just you know animals he's just he's using animals to portray you know real life situations or you know it's just wait what wait, wait, oh, okay yeah real life situations and um i think it's pretty cool so i'm definitely gonna try to get a few of these um veil creatures and uh yeah i mean I got I just bought this rabbit. This is a 616 choice rabbit. I bought it during the AMA. Couldn't pass that up. And um, you know, I might get another rabbit one day. Let's if I make a decent sale, I might I might purchase a blue rabbit or assassin rabbit, you know what I'm saying? But at any rate, uh yeah, I'm really I'm really this is see, this is this is some art that I'm buying because I like it. It's not all about the money on this app for me. I I, I am a collector as well, and I will be buying art that I like. I have never heard of Jermaine Rogers before Vivi, so that is that is the good thing about Vivi. I call it the Vivi effect. You know, they 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 put you on to people that you probably never would have heard of or at least looked into. So I'm digging it. And these um these are really cool in augmented reality. And Jermaine Rogers talked about um you know possibly having physical versions paired to these, just like uh, Jeremy Padawar um, mentioned in the last AMA. Uh, shout out to you, John, for asking those good questions. And uh, yeah, I mean, these might even be able to interact in the future. You know that, you know that Vivi has mentioned that characters like Batman and Joker might interact when they get put in the showroom. Same thing here. So I think that's a little ways away, but anything's possible with NFTs and the technology. So we're gonna see. So with that being said, let us move on. Okay, let's check out some prices for the record so we can look back on this video one day and see what happened so there's 103 darrow left for purchase in the market uh it took a little dip from like 1.5k to 1k uh the, the assassin rabbit 
$370 floor, 76 left in the market. The Hunter, 60 left in the market, 1.2K gems. Nightwatch, 65 left in the market, 485 gems. And The Protector, 80 left in the market with a floor of 208 gems. So it'll be interesting to see uh, how these prices uh, move over time. And with that, let us move on. And that's the video, my friends. If you made it this far, thank you for watching. If you learned something or enjoyed the content, feel free to drop a like on the video and consider subscribing for more BD content like this. So another Jermaine Rogers drop. I'm looking forward to it. I hope you are as well. But if not, you can always pass. That's the beautiful thing about Vivi. Nobody's forcing us to participate in these drops. And with that being said, before well, actually, before before Sunday's drop, we have the uh, Fantastic Four, Susan Storm. So that should be another interesting drop. And then I think we're going to have like six comic drops in a row after that. So we got a week full of drops. So I hope you've saved up your gems and uh, it's going to be an interesting week. So with that being said, I am not a financial advisor. Nothing I say is financial advice. You know why? Because I'm learning just like you guys. I'm just your friendly neighborhood genius. Ha ha ha. Sharing his thoughts and opinions on this awesome app known as Vivi. So take everything that you hear from me with a grain of salt because things could change, change, change. And with that being said, thank you guys again for watching and I will catch you guys in my next video. Until then, peace out and how to strong, my friends. Later.